Hey everyone, Ashley here, and this is going to be my second look using the palette that I put together. I used the eyeshadows in Golden Girl, Down to Earth. I then lined my upper lash line with Chocolate Martini and my lower lash line with Mermaid Lagoon. And then for my lips, I used three colors. I used first Red Apple Lipsticks Coral Crush Lipstick and what I did is I outlined my lips with this. Then I did in two lines so like I outlined my lips and then I did an outline again using that one, this one in Push Pop. And then in the very, very center of my lips, I used this lipstick in Sunkissed. Basically, my whole idea with this was thinking like sunset. So on the eyes, we have like the sunset, a very pretty golden sunset, and then it kind of meets the water. And then for my lips, again, kind of sunset inspired, so the colors are kind of fading together, which I think is gorgeous. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. I'm starting off by applying the eyeshadow in Golden Girl with a damp brush and Golden Girl is a really pretty yellowish gold color that was perfect for this because my whole idea was to do an eye that is inspired by sunsets and I just love you know the golden sunsets that meet the water it's just a gorgeous scene so I wanted to replicate this on my eyes. The second eyeshadow that I'm applying is in the shade Down to Earth. This time I'm using it dry. I'm not applying it wet because I really wanted it to be softer. And Down to Earth is kind of a orangey brown shade. And I just thought that it looked really great with the gold. Like I said, I was inspired by sunsets and the gold and the orange together. It just was perfect. Moving on to a liner, I chose to use the eyeshadow in Chocolate Martini. Again, I'm applying this with a damp liner brush. And I chose Chocolate Martini because I didn't really want to do black. I felt that was a little bit too harsh. But Chocolate Martini is a very dark brown. Plus, it has gold reflex in it, so it complements the gold and the orange eyeshadows. Now I wanted to use the eyeshadow in Mermaid Lagoon to line my lower lash line because after all there's nothing more gorgeous than a sunset that meets the water. So like I said, Mermaid Lagoon is what I'm using to represent water. Moving on to my lips, I'm starting off with this lipstick in Coral Crush. I'm going to be outlining and defining my lips with a lip brush. And I also wanted to continue like the sunset theme, so basically what I'm going to be doing is creating a gradient effect, starting off, like I said, with this lipstick in Coral Crush. My second lipstick of choice is Red Apple Lipstick's Instant Color Lipstick in Push Pop, which I didn't mention before, but the Coral Crush Lipstick is also part of the Instant Color Collection for the summertime. Anyway, so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm using another lip brush, and I'm going to be drawing another outline next to the line that I did before. Because this is going to help create the gradient effect, it's going to make the colors kind of transition into one another. 
And the final lipstick that I'm going to be using is in Sunkissed. Sunkissed is like the most brightest electric orange that I've ever seen and it's gorgeous. And basically I'm just going to be applying this to the very center of my lips and this finishes the gradient effect. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful sunshiny day. Bye. I don't normally do voiceovers on this part, but I wanted you guys to see the before and after of my face and then a close-up of my lips here so you can see in better detail the colors fading together.